Y'all, so I got another review. This was this was requested by Dion or Dion. I'm sorry, 90. She asked me to review the Soft Sheen Carson's Roots of Nature stuff, which I actually happened to have two things of the line in my room. See, I don't mind reviewing stuff if I already have it, but you know, I gotta go buy it. I'm like, mm -hmm. especially if I didn't have it already. So yeah. Oh, and I got some makeup to review too. Well, to show you. A little mini haul between yesterday and today. Okay, so. These are two items I have. I have the Mango and Oil Kupuasu. That's how I learned how you say it. Butter Whip Coil Cream and the Mango Oil and Kupuasu Feather Whip Curl Cream. This is both of them. And they were $6.49 each at the Beauty Supply. A whopping $6.50. And I got some hand in so you're gonna have to ignore it. Okay. Yeah, see? This is the Butter Whip Coil Cream. This is thicker. You can use this for twists or braids if you are so inclined. Let's see what it doesn't have. It doesn't have any drying alcohol, mineral oil, parabens, or petroleum. And it has. Let's see, anything that I should warn you about in here? No cones, it has some polyquats in this, I think. That helps hold your hair. But yeah, this is it. It's thick as you can see. I'll scoop some out, see? It's a thick cream. And it smells like a chemically engineered mango. <laughs> It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell bad, but you know, it is what it is. That's what it smells like. And I used this to do twists before and I was pleasantly surprised. My hair was moist all week. Yeah. The cheap stuff. So can't complain. I have no complaints about this. And today I actually used the curl cream. Now I like this. I have to say, I, it's in my hair right now. Yes, there's some a little bit of eco style on top, but I usually twist this, twist this part of my hair. This doesn't have any gel on it right now, but it feels it's drying and it feels so freaking soft. But even the rest of my hair, like I said, I have a little eco style on top and it feels it feels good still. See, all right. Before we get into that, let me show you. You see how this part of my hair is? This is like that, then this is like this, then this is doing this, and I have some parts that's just, like see, it's just sticking out on its own. It's just doing what it wants. That's my hair. That's my hair. It just does what the hell it wants. It doesn't do what I want, it does what it wants. So anyway. This is good. It's a little damp, because it's hot as hell, so it's drying fast. This must have some kind of, this is a curl cream, right? Right. This must have some sort of carbon in it because it has hold. I'm guessing, let me see. That's polypot in it. Yeah, this will hold your hair down. Like, you might not even need to use a gel. I'm not trying to do my hair again tomorrow. And it's hot and it's humid, so I threw some eco style on top. And as you can see, I don't have any white little flakies anywhere. This is the underside of my hair where it's, the texture starts getting a little different. I have like four different textures. Whatever. Who cares? Let's see. Oh, I got a little white spot here, but that's my full. See? It comes right out. But yeah. I was very surprised with this. I like I put this on my I, um a co-wash. Then I use a Dominican conditioner, which if anyone is interested, I have like five Dominican conditioners I can review, five or six. You know, if anyone's interested. I don't hear too much talk about them unless it's on long hair care for them. So, yeah. It's the one with the snail slime in it, so when I used today, which was good. But, um, yeah, I put that on wet hair and I noticed that it like smoothed down the frizz and whatnot. So, yeah, this is the consistency of it. Got another hair in it, so I was doing my hair. It's, a, it's lighter. It's still, it's still kind of thick, but it's light. See? But it's a little bit more, it seems like it has more, like it'll hold more. 
compared to that, to the coil cream. This is the Feather Whip Curl Cream. I got, again, $6.49. Yo, and you don't need a lot because this is the first time I use this. I guess I use a little bit more than, well, I got a lot of hair. But you don't need a lot. You really don't need a lot. Um, just keep your hair a little bit, you know, keep your hair a little bit damp while using this. A little mist and bottle of water. Good stuff. You know, good stuff. If you're looking for a styler but you don't have, you know, let me rinse this off my fingers. You're not trying to spend a bunch of money. Get on down to the Weasel Plus and try those. Now, they have a green tea restruct, what's it, a reconstructor, I think. There was a silicone in it, I think, that I wasn't too keen on, so I didn't get that. But I think I've read some not so bad reviews about that, so you know, you can you know, you can try it. But I did want to try these stylers, and yeah, my hair seems good so far. It feels soft, even with the gel. It feels soft. Okay, so that's that. Now on to my little makeup that I bought. You know, Afabella had a lip a lip gloss made for Mac, right? It is called All of My Purple Life. But she was inspired by Prince, whom I love, next to Johnny Depp. That's two different things, but I'm just saying, still. I haven't even put it on yet. I literally just got it in the mail today. But oh, it's such a pretty purple. This is definitely going to be for the fall. See? MAC lip glass. You can't ever go wrong with MAC lip glass. Can I get it closed? My hands are wet. So I got that today. I also got some more MAC, which I'm wearing right now. You know, I was looking for some coral lipstick. I was like, there has to be a coral for black women. So I was on YouTube looking. I found a bunch of reviews. Or, or coral or orange. And I found a few reviews. And I saw, it's called, I think, Morange is the way you pronounce it. A lipstick by MAC. And then when I went into the MAC counter today, yeah, it was a little bit brighter than I thought. And of course, it's funniest thing, the makeup artist did, she actually had on Mormish, but she had it with the line it, but it looked good on her. So she said, that's so funny because I'm wearing that color that she asked me about. I said, yes, and it looks so great in you, so, you know. But I didn't like that one, but she, she showed me another one. It's called So Chord. I don't freaking know. This is it. I love this color. I love it. I have this. And the liner, I blended it in with the liner. The liner is auburn. See? I'm not gonna start doing makeup videos or whatnot. I'm not a big makeup person. I'll say this, I love eyeshadows. If you've seen how many MAC mineralized eyeshadows and stuff I have, like I have so many colors. I love Stila from back in the day. NARS had a lip lacquer called Chica Boom, which I love, and they freaking, I don't think make that color anymore. And I have like three or four pots, cause I was like, huh. But beyond that, beyond like eyes and lips and maybe blush and bronzer, I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Like, cause you could tell concealer and this. I wouldn't know what I'm doing. I'd probably be going out looking scary as hell. So I just don't bother. But MAC has this wonderful line that's mineralized and I can just brush that on and keep it moving. So she had the Skin Finish Natural, which I bought in Medium Deep, which I have on right now. And it's not too makeup y. And I love it. And then she was like, oh, how about a blush? So she got up, gave me a mineralized blush. Blush. Can't even talk. This is a dainty. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. But yesterday, it's funny. I was in CVS looking for the damn coral lipstick. So I came across Revlon Kiss Me Coral, which I read lots of reviews about. This is the Kiss Me Coral. And it was a little bit brighter. I could probably even blend it with this pencil. So this is Kiss Me Coral. I guess it would have been nice if I had it on and showed you, right? Crap. Only me. I'm always dropping stuff. Then I saw a lip gloss in there, Revlon, because they had a little sale yesterday where you get extra bucks. Um, yeah. I thought it was orange in the store. I got out. My friend at work was like, yeah, girl, that's red. I was like, oh. So this is called Fire. But I actually put it on top of the Revlon lipstick and it looked really nice. You'll probably see me with that in another video. So I'm trying to look for different colors now. But I was like, yeah, this looks really great. I freaking love it. So yeah, that's my little MAC makeup hole-ish thing. Yeah, I probably won't buy anything else for 
a long time. And on my nails, we have <laughs> OPI Shatter in blue. I think it's just called literally just blue. And some gold OPI color underneath. Yeah. I love these shadow polishes. They have, I'm gonna get a yellow polish and an orange polish. Yeah, I found two white OPI that I want. Oh, and what you should get for your cuticles is the, o the OPI Avaplex cuticle exfoliating treatment. Mop Top Maven, that girl had, has, she's had me buy so much stuff, but everything that I bought that she recommended, I freaking loved. So I've been using that like for the past two weeks consistently. And I haven't had to nip around my cuticles more often. I don't like doing that. And if I ever go get a manicure, I do not like them cutting me. Because I'm like, one, I don't know where your damn clip has been. Your little, the little cuticle nip is. I don't know if everyone sanitizes them like they should. So I'm like, mm, I don't trust you. So I have my own. And I know how to do it. But, um, yeah. I did it myself. And I did a dang good job. I was like, ow. Of course, this match is nothing that I have on right now. Who cares? So... Yeah, that is about it. I do have some more hair stuff coming. I have Free Your Main coming tomorrow. And I think I have like another line that I've never even heard of. They sent me samples to review, so I can't remember the name. It starts with an S. Shiello? S H I E L O, I believe. Yeah, so I'll let you, you know, you see the review on that, so. Okay, it's hot as hell. I'm going back to sit in my room near the window. Jesus be a breeze, please, because it's hot as hell. Mm -hmm. Someone just left a comment on one of my videos asking me if this was my real hair. No. She said, is, what, the, what the hell did she say? Yeah, she said, is that your hair? It's on my head, ain't it? I'm sorry, I have over 199 videos. Now this one will be 200. Nope, I've been playing with a weave the entire time. Mm hmm Anyway. I love y'all. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Y'all the bomb.com. Okay, let me shut the hell up. Bye.